CRC, and I did the impossible last night and, the, and this afternoon. And it's something that never has been attempted before. It's just something probably a ton of people have been dreaming of or been asking. Like, like um, in their head, like, why didn't Traxxas do this? Like, just to scale it down more. But it's something sick and something probably a lot of you guys will be interested in or like or want to know what's, how to do it. But this is just going to be the overview video of the thing I did to my 16th scale Revo. Yeah, this is a 16th scale Revo. It's not a 10th scale, just so you all know. It's, yeah, it's a no-brainer. It's a 16th scale. But I did basically something nobody has ever done before on YouTube. Something new, something different. Something that will probably catch a ton of people's attention. And this is sick, so you better see it. I'll, I'll take the body off. This is an awesome upgrade, so you better watch out. Three... Two, one. There you go. There's the upgrade. Basically, what I did was I put a second Valenian motor in this thing. Two VXL 3M motors. This thing is sick. Nobody's probably ever attempted this or thought of this before. This is just crazy. And I know those of you guys out there, they put the 10 scale motors in there. You guys just think you're awesome and such but this is just sick this is just amazing 10 scale motors are pretty sweet they get you up fast but this will probably get you really fast probably i'm saying probably because i haven't driven it before i just tested it out with one battery and it works i need two batteries but yeah tested it out it works and it's it is true so yeah what i did was i took some aluminum here and i took um this motor mount, I just laid it how it was on the motor mount. There, there was like more aluminum in the, than this because I cut out the this piece out of some aluminum. I just drilled the huge hole where the spur gear um shaft goes through here, and then attaches this slipper clutch and everything. I just bolted it to the back with the screws, and I did yeah I just did that. You guys can probably figure it out on your own, but it's kind of really hard to explain. If you want me to explain more in depth, I'll probably upload another video, but. If you really want me to, but I most likely will, but yeah, so I'm pretty much in that. Got to sand down the aluminum and everything in a thick. And you have to space out the motor because as you can see, the aluminum sits behind the, the blue aluminum for the single motor. And yeah, it's all geared. And as you can see, you probably are like, why is this um, zip tie here? Are you, is, is it even meshed right? Are you just keeping the motors together? This thing is really loose. And then this motor, yes, it does sometimes wiggle out of place. So I took some styrofoam that's really squishy, just for safety reasons. Like if it did really just veer off, if like I took an impact, then um, it would bend and hit this other motor and strip out the gears, just for, like safety. And this is just to hold this in place. It's so not to hold both the motors together, just to hold it in place, which I gotta put it back in place. But yeah. And then my receiver, I just what I did was in the other servo thing that I drilled two whole slits right here because over the top in this servo I'll show you, you see those like um little um sinks um between the servo and the shock. That's what I drilled the holes in for this thing. And yeah. Like basically I just drilled a hole here and here where it sinks down and I zip tied the receiver into the servo slot. And that's pretty sick. And it, I need that because the, this brushless motor takes up the space of the receiver. So you know, I couldn't. I, I, I did put it in the battery compartment before, but I was like thinking, how am I gonna fit the second battery in? So I was like, let's mount it right here. So because there's no space, and that was like the last of the space. And then for the rest of the space, for my second Millennium ESC, I just stacked them up on top of each other, sandwiched the wires between them, and I just zip tied it around the other ESC. I just zip tied the two ESCs together. I didn't drill any holes. But yeah, actually, I did drill a hole, as you can see in there. There's a huge hole in there. And that's there because sometime, like, um,. Before, like a long time ago, before I had this YouTube channel, I put an XL5 ESC in here and I slid it in here with the heat sink up, like because the ones with the heat sinks, Traxxas is releasing um, XL5s without heat sinks now, which I hate because then I could have just slid those in, but I had the XL5 with the heat sink and I had to drill this out for it. 
That's what I had. And then all I did was they had a lot of room in there for extra stuff, so I just slid it in. Then the servo I'm running to handle this is a um, high tech servo. They make many of them that I, I'm not, I don't remember what it's called, but every single one of their servos are amazing for this thing. So, so yeah. And I geared my pinion gears um, a 23 tooth, and then I geared my spur gear a 45 tooth. I don't know why, it's just what I had. And for both of these motors, you have to have the same pinion gear on both. Otherwise, it one motor will be spinning faster than another, and you'll burn one of them out or overwork them, which will be very bad. And I forgot to tell you this, but this is how I made this to adjust my motor is I drilled a big slit down here which I accidentally drilled too much and then you can like move your motor to where you want it to be which I think is pretty sweet, sick and sweet whatever yeah and if you guys are thinking well yeah the one VXL had plenty of power on the 2 and 3S 10th scale motor would have way too much power these two motors I don't know how much unwieldy power this thing has but this thing probably will have about more than a 10th scale motor, I'm guessing, because, yeah, it's really big. I mean, I have never, ever seen anybody put this in an Evo. And what would be even more sick, which would totally up the, like, top the charts, would be an 8th scale motor. Never seen anybody do that, but that would be sick. I mean, it's awesome. What I would do if I had an 8th scale motor is, if I didn't want to run a body, I'd just... Take, like, make a custom motor mount like this, but wrap it up here and then just put the 8th scale motor up here. I don't know, but it's, I have not seen an 8th scale motor before. But the easier way to go is a 10th scale because you don't have to design your own thing or buy another motor. Well, you have to buy another motor because it's a 10th scale motor, but I had just had motor laying around. This was all free for me, so I was just messing around with the broken U Evo. As you can hear, it's a lot louder. And it doesn't roll as far because it's two motors, so the to double the magnet. So yeah, and yeah, you guys, that is my record-setting double VXL 3M motor E Revo two ESCs. And comment, rate, subscribe, and if you want to see how I put this baby together, then just comment or like the video and tell me why and tell me how I should do it. And if you have any other questions to ask, like what Shockwell are you using in the Evo and other such Evo questions, then just comment about it and I'll try my best to answer those questions. And yeah, you guys, comment or you subscribe and see you guys. Oh yeah, one last thing. Comment also if you ever, ever found someone on YouTube who had this done to their Evo because I pretty, I'd, I'd bet that I'm the first one to ever do this because... I've been on. I've been watching YouTube like for three years straight, and I like so watch every single like 16 scale Eurevo video there is. Maybe not all of them, but I'll pretty much the majority of them, because I'm bored of most of my free time and I just watch them. But just tell me if you ever seen somebody do this before me, because I just wanna see what they did. Maybe help them out a bit if they have trouble. But I just wanna see what they did, and also be ready for a run video 